Hi there Stampers, it's Linda Schmidt with Stampin' with the Hounds. Um, today I have a really quick and easy uh, fun fold and this is um, continuing on with my fun fold series where I have been focusing on variations of the Z fold. So this is one that I am kind of calling a Z fold front flap card. So you've got, it just kind of looks like you know a panel here but when you open this up and then here is your Z fold that comes out and then you've got kind of like a little trifold um, accordion style kind of card. And then you can, if you want, you can decorate these back panels. But it's um, really easy and then it just closes in place and then you've got room, you know, for your greeting. And really this panel, you can make this any shape you want. Um, I've done it before where it's been like a circle um, that I've had to be this like little flap card. Um, and then again, you can adjust the sizes um, for your measurements and everything but we're going to make this one today this is featuring um, some of our new scrapbooking paper in our uh, scrapbooking line which is online only and this is the um, sweet days of autumn and so it's 12 by 12 paper and you're getting um, i believe four sheets of each pa um, pattern and again it's double-sided so you've got kind of like this uh, Cajun craze, kind of copper clay color with like little tree branches. And on the other side, it's kind of like an old olive, kind of little floral, kind of like a daisy print. And then the next one is uh, like little trees. Um, and then the back side of that one is more of like a um, check pattern. And then the other one has got the darling trees and then the little critters on the other side. So really fun paper um, to use with some of my favorite fall colors. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna do um, this one today. I'm not, I don't have many other samples. The only one I had was one I did um, a couple of years ago. Uh, and this is a retired set, but this is another uh, idea, you know, where I got the idea from when I had uh, designed this other car that we're doing today. So this one, again, the flap comes up and you can decorate the panels. And this one, I didn't do the back side of it, um, but you can do that if you wanted to. So we're going to get started. Uh, what you need is your uh, card base is going to be five and a half by eight and a half. We're just going to score at two and an eighth and four and a quarter and that becomes our base of our card. The mini card is just a four and a quarter width by four and a half for the size that I'm doing. But again, you can adjust this. And then really you just need to always kind of score that one inch because that is where that flap is sitting underneath this car, um, the inside card stock to make so it's attached to the card. So that just needs always to be scored at one inch. Um, so that one, and I'm using old olive for my card base. Uh, my inside card stock, I just do a neutral color and this is four by five and a quarter and this is that basic beige, one of my favorite colors neutral. Your front flap, um, you're going to need two pieces and they can be the same or they can be different. Um, again, I'm just using two pieces but they're from the same. One is the front version and one is the back version. And these are going to be three by four and a quarter. And then for your Z fold, again, if you want to decorate, you know, the all four, you would need four pieces and you can do the same or they can all be different. Um, today we're just doing the two. So I'm just doing um, the little trees and then the little uh, branches. And these are going to be one and seven eighths by five and a quarter on those. So really easy. I apologize. So we're dog sitting um, Callie. She is uh, Ezra's BFF. <laughs> but. Callie is very vocal. When she wants something, she lets you know. <laughs> and it's probably she wants to go outside or she wants her bed fluffed or something, but oh, it's so funny. She is quite the drama queen. But it's kind of nice having uh, another greyhound in the house. We used to have four and um, when the other three passed away the last um, year and a half here, it's been just Ezra. But, so it's kind of nice to have that another dog in the house. Okay, um, so again, this is that card base, uh, five and a half by eight and a half. We're gonna score on the long side at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. And I've already done this, but I'm just gonna show you. So we got two and an eighth, and then we've got four and a quarter, and that's what makes a Z fold. And then your mini card, now remember mine was four and a quarter width by four and a half long. And we wanna score on that shorter side to make that flap and we're going to score right at that one inch and that's what makes our our flap and that is it for the scoring and now we 
just get to assemble. So you need your bone folder. All right, for the mini card, I just take that flap and we're just going to valley fold it in. And this is what is going to be, this becomes your foot that attaches to the base of the card. And then this now is going to be your, your front and then the inside. So always think of it like that's, this is your foot. And then for the Z fold, so again, we had that one where we did four and a quarter. That was our halfway point. We're just going to fold this in half. And then this flap, that two and an eighth, comes back. So it's just uh, half of it. You're just folding half of the, um, so really you don't even need to use your um, scoring blade or scoring uh, tool, because you can basically just cut it in half, you know, fold it in half, and then fold this back. So it's super easy. And that becomes your Z fold. Super fun. Okay, we want to attach this to our inside of our card before we attach our quarter sheet. So I'm gonna put um, adhesive on the uh, flap of this. So remember I said, this is your foot. We wanna put the adhesive here. And I like to use um, sometimes a little bit stronger adhesive just because it's, you know, you're moving it back and forth quite a bit. So I'm just gonna throw on some tear and tape. But any, you know, you could use liquid glue, you could use, um, you know, any kind of strong adhesive. I just kind of like my tear and tape. All right, then you wanna make sure that this, so this is our tape, that tape is gonna go here. And then I wanna make sure my edge is lined up with my edge and that I'm somewhat, you know, centered. So this is all, oops, I just bumped it. So I've got the same distance from my top and bottom. And then we'll just attach that on there. And now our card is attached to the base of the card. Super fun. Okay, now we'll go ahead and decorate our panels. So we're gonna do, so for our front card, I was gonna do the trees on the front and then I'll do my little critters on the inside. So this will just attach. I had to see which ones I like. I think I may use this one for my inside because I've got two of my the good little fox and the deer are kind of showing pretty well. So we'll put this one on the on the front. And again, if you want a little bit narrower cardstock border, you can just increase the size of your designer series paper by an eighth of an inch from what I had told you. All right, now this one then is gonna go on the inside. And then these were our DSP panels that were one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. So I always just like knowing that this is gonna be my front. I'm gonna have this one be on my front Z fold. And then this other kind of rust, the Cajun craze, I'm gonna have the little branch one on the inside. And again, if you wanted to decorate the backside of the Z fold, you can do that as well. They're all the same size. Our trees on yeah it's uh you know fall I love fall but oh my gosh it is in the it's still hot here in Minnesota it's still in the 80s so dry I'm sure not as dry as you know Palm Springs or anything but it's dry for me I gave up on my outside plants I'm like ah, they're done <laughs> they're done for the season I can't keep up with the watering all right and then let's go ahead and for my inside I am going to decorate I had done um, the little leaf here on that. And so I'm using, and this is a carryover. Um, it's in the uh, main catalog still, and you can um, also available online. This is Autumn Leaves. It's just a really pretty, I'm so glad it carried over because I really like this set. So we're gonna be using the uh, leaf and then the branch. So it's kind of a two-step stamping. So I'm gonna do the, I found it's easier to do the main leaf first and then do the little, sprig 
on top of it. So we'll do this little crushed curry. See, it's a well-loved stamp. Look how stained that is. <laughs> Very well-loved. Okay. And then the Cajun craze will be for the sprigs. Oh, I grabbed the wrong, wrong stamp. This isn't the right one. This is for the other leaf. Hold on. Grab the wrong sprig. Yeah. Very well loved stamp set. <laughs> and is that gonna fit on there? Yeah, just barely. Okay, and then we'll do this little thing in the Cajun craze. because I do need a some birthday cards for my co-workers this month. I'm going to stamp my saying, which is from the Frosted Forest, and this is an online exclusive um, stamp set, so you want to make sure you check out my website um, for that. It's lschmidt.stampinup.net. I'll put a link uh, to uh, below in the, in the description. And we're going to do uh, birthday wishes for a day as great as you are. And then I'm just kind of putting it down here at the bottom because then I can do, you know, my greeting or, you know, my own personal note and stuff at the top. All right, and then this gets attached to the front, or I'm sorry, to the inside of the card. And I will say on this basic page, it's kind of a more fibrous uh, card stock. I feel like when I use my tape dispenser, um, it tends to tear sometimes. So I like using the liquid glue when I'm working with the basic beige. Let's make sure that's all rubbed down and adhered. All right, so that was the Z fold. Now we're just gonna decorate our front and we're using um, some of my favorite uh, dies. These are from, um, oh my gosh. It is the grassy grove is the deer, and then the trees, is it Forever Forest? Yes, Forever Forest. Um, so, and there's a stamp set too, but this is another carryover. I use this one all the time. I love, cause it's got the mountains and then like the pine trees and trees in like all different shapes and sizes. So one of my staples, love, 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 love this one. And then my other new, uh, circular die set. And I just got this. It's, it's hard because it's like out of stock and then it's in and out. I finally got it w when it was back in stock, but now um, I think it might be, I think it might be back on back order. I can't remember. All right. So this one you're getting, and I have this big one on the back here because it didn't fit. Uh, this is the Spotlight on Nature um, dies. And it has all these great kind of textured um, borders on the circles. So it's kind of, it's a really, you know, I love my circle dies. So I'm kind of using the one that's got that little bit of edging on there for the back of mine. And then I've got a little baby sun that I just popped, punched out with a, a retired or like a circle punch that I just had laying around. But we've got so many circle dies that have, <laughs> you can cut that out too with this, uh, with the die. All right. We are going to glue the circle down first, and then we'll build up from there. And this is early espresso. So I'm just gonna put it kind of down here, a little bit more on the lower right-hand corner. And then we'll build up our tree. So I'm gonna start with my mossy meadow tree the largest one. I apologize, I got the dryer going. <laughs> I was like, I have so much going on this week and I'm meeting a, a friend for lunch and so I wanted to get these videos done and recorded really quick. And then Jeff is cleaning the house and doing laundry, so. <laughs> I need more hours in the day, that's for sure. All right, so there's that one. 
And then the other smaller tree is an old olive, which is what I did for my card base. And then you also want to check out, we um, and it went, they went, the stuff went fast, but there's still quite a bit on there. Uh, they, they refreshed the clearance rack, and so they brought, uh, there's a bunch of great prices on, you know, ribbon and paper. There's a bunch, they brought back some of the in colors like Starry Sky, Orchid, you know, Orchid Oasis, uh, the ones that just recently retired this summer. So those are all back um, in the clearance rack. And then uh, some embellishments and stuff. So it was uh, some good deals. And then again, we've got that holiday uh, mini catalog too that is, um, is available now too. And then we have coming up in November, they're gonna be adding uh, some more items online. So you wanna make sure you check back in November and see what is new. And I kinda, that's what I do like about the online uh, products that Stampin' Up! has been doing is I always like, you know, getting new stuff all the time, so. <laughs> all right, and then we'll do our little sun. And that was just in crushed curry. And we'll just kind of do that. I might tuck it underneath my tree a little bit. And then I'm just gonna add, excuse my arm, I'm gonna add just a little bit of Winkastella to my sun just to give it a little bit of sparkle. Just to pop it a little. There, so it gives it just a little bit of shine. All right, that is it. Super fun and easy. So that is the Z Fold front flap card using that sweet day of autumn designer series paper that is in our scrapbooking line. So thanks again. I'm gonna be recording um, hopefully another couple other videos that are with my, that I had just recently done at my in-person classes. So if you weren't able to attend, um, I'm gonna show you how we did those projects. So thanks again for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you have not done so already. And everyone have a great and creative day and I'll stand again with you soon. Bye-bye. <music>